Hello guys, welcome to yet another interesting video on this channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to create an account on Fiverr the right way. More on that after the intro. Okay, welcome to yet another interesting video if you're new to this channel please join the family by clicking the red subscribe button and share this video to your friends and loved ones before we get into the video if you're interested in making money through affiliate marketing on fiverr i have a full playlist so be sure to check that out as well so in this video i just want to show you guys how to create fiverr accounts the best way some people do it wrong and that could very easily mar their accounts i'm going to keep this video short and precise there are basically two kinds of accounts that you can create and and depending on the one you create, that decides on how you would use your, your Fiverr account, if that makes sense. So the two types of accounts you can create are the branded account or the personal account. So here I'm on the Fiverr website. I'm just trying to use logo animation as like a, a search keyword. I just want to give you some examples. So let, let us start with the personal account. So this is an example of a personal account. And you see she named her account Elena Queen. But look at something else that you noticed. By the way, her account is doing very, very well. If you look at this, her gig, uh, five star, at least 140 sales, done starting at $15. Fantastic. I have used uh, this lady as well. So this is like a kind of free promotion for her. She does pretty good um, lead magnet designs. So notice that this is a personal account and she's using her name, but notice that she has just one gig that she's selling. So uh, this is also another example. This is somebody who named uh, her, her account, uh, Kamisi 2019, and this account is also doing well, well over 600 sales and five stars. And notice that on this account, she also has just one gig. So if you're creating a personal account, my recommendation is that you should have just one gig on that account, just one gig. Because if you, if you have a personal account and then you have a uh, lead magnet creation, voiceover, um, video animation if you have so many gigs it will just look very unprofessional to say the least that could affect your sales or your profits on fiverr platform so if you want to name your fiverr account harold or you want to name it ben or james or susan um then you should focus on one um you should focus on one type of gig that you want to sell and sell just that one gig on that account if that makes sense by the way uh, these two accounts they are using they are doing a um, lead magnet design and no notice like this lady had her cheapest plan is thirty dollars right and Elena her cheapest plan is fifteen dollars and these guys what what they are using is this software called designer so this software allows you to uh, create ebooks and and lead, lead magnets so you just put in the text into into the software and then it's it's like it adds animations and stuff makes makes it look very very nice at the end of the day and it's almost automatic i mean there's some work that you need to put in but it's almost automatic and this uh designer is pretty cheap like it's like 27 dollars a month i believe i saw the plan somewhere yeah so you see this is like 29 dollars monthly this is 39 dollars monthly but they also have a lifetime plan uh which is about $27, I believe. So uh, I, I left a link to to designer in in the description of this video if you're interested in trying it out because these guys are making like a huge profit on this. If she makes one sale, she has almost covered the cost of the designer software. And I mean, you know that most of our sales are not starting at $15. Even though they're starting at $15, most of our sales are not $15. Like, the 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 work that she did for me like i paid a really crazy amount because the pdf is big so yeah the, the point i'm trying to make is like in one sale you can actually cover the cost of the software i believe that's the exact same thing that uh this lady is using as well so that is it for for personal accounts then the second type of account that you want to uh, uh, uh create if you want to is called branded account and i've taken the uh, the liberty to go and look for a branded account. So you see this branded account is called Next Studio. So it, it gives you the vibe of like studio. So this person has YouTube video editor there, which is you know, studio like. Um, he also does YouTube uh, thumbnails and he does uh, podcast video editing. So, and he does like uh, thumbnail design. So 
you are saying that this this account has like four gigs, but it looks professional because like his his account name ties into the general theme of all the gigs that he's selling. So this is a, a branded account. Personally, I'll go for a branded account because it allows you to sell more than one gig. So you see that this guy on this gig, he has, he has made like 24 sales. Here he has made 11 sales. Um, I don't know if he has made any sales here. Uh, here, no sales here. But like you see, he's spreading his chances. And um, I, I believe this, I mean, depending on what you can do, because clearly the other two accounts that are personal accounts are doing much better than this branded account. But like left to me, I'll personally go for uh, a branded account because it's just going to allow me to be able to spread my options. So if you if you name your some if you name your your gig um you know something related to like video editing or like video university or video university or something like that then you can do all kinds of video editing and 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 you know animations and stuff. So yeah so these are the two kinds of accounts. So you need to think about it, make up your mind on what you what you want to do on Fiverr if you are willing to just do one gig or you want to like spread your chances and then you come up with a good name that captures the theme of that of that gig. Uh, I have other videos on on YouTube here about different kinds of Fiverr gigs you can sell with zero experience so be sure to check that out. And this is going to be the first video in a complete Fiverr series. Um, I'm just going to keep all of them short and precise. Um, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and and turn the notification icon on so that when I drop the next video in this series, you'll be notified and you can check it out and try it. And if you do make money on Fiverr, please reach out to me on email. Let me know. I'll share a story on the channel. Uh, thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.